is Channel 4's Eyewitness News at 10. Good evening, I'm Karen Carlson. Mike Haas is off tonight. A horrific scene in Slidell this afternoon after a car carrying three teenagers flies off the interstate onto Goss Boulevard. All three people in the car were killed. State police identify them as 19-year-old Jackie Swanson. She was the driver, 17-year-old James Newton, and a third victim they won't identify because they say he is a minor. The accident tied up traffic for hours, and those who saw it could certainly understand why. And then in my rear view mirror, I see a, a car or just, you don't see a car, you see a flash of something flying by. And I turn my head to look up my mirror and that's when I saw it flip in the air, people flying out of it and then impact on the bank on the other side. What Greg Peterman can't describe, the pictures can. He was there when a carload of teenagers careened off the interstate onto Goss Boulevard, brushing the back of his car. Peterman knows just a few centimeters could have meant his life. This is a grace of God kind of thing here. I don't think any other car was touched. State police say, though they're not sure how fast the car was going, it was fast enough to flip several times as it left the interstate. I say it's actually very unfortunate that nobody else was involved and nobody else was hurt in this accident itself. The three teenagers died instantly. Traffic on a crowded Goss Boulevard was rerouted for about two hours. But foremost on the mind of one man is a moment in time this afternoon when a tragic accident changed his day when that moment in time almost changed his life. Every single person was amazed that there are only three killed, not 20. It could have been 20 so easy. Investigators say it's too early to tell if alcohol or drugs played a part in that accident.